Hi everyone, Christine here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to all my new subscribers. I wanted to come in and join in on Saturday Morning Makes, um, hashtag Saturday Makes, started by Jill Norwood. Um, and basically you just need to upload a project on social media and use the hashtag Saturday Makes. And I'm gonna leave Jill Norwood's um, link down below so you can check it out for more info. And also I'm joining in on uh, two crafters, one design hashtag that started by Melissa Mo Creations, Lisa UCY I'm a Diva, and also Gloria who is Gurlia's Cards from YouTube. And um, I'm going to leave all of those ladies' links down below as well so you can check out everyone's inspiration. And uh, so, anyway, I wanted to start off with my mailbox, so let me clear everything out of the way. And let me share with you all the products that I've used. Of course, my favorite paper pads. Um, these are called uh, Fun Valentines and Script Hearts and Solace. These are both by My Creative Time. And I use the uh, You've Got Mail mailbox uh, die set. And I use the You've Got Mail add-ons. I use the flag. And I think that's all I use there. Uh, I used uh, the smallest doily from the I Like Doily die. And I did use the Heart Alphas for uh, my X and O. And I used the Prim Hearts and Alpha. This is uh, will be back in stock next month. And I just used the Alphas to spell out love. I used the Etched Edge Z card die and I used the banner and the layers to um, cut out my love banner. I used the Ginger Boy and Girl dies and I just used a little envelope and heart. And then I also used um, my A2 Fancy Frame Dies and A2 Fancy Frame Layer Dies. Uh, as far as laces, I used this, one of my favorite laces from Joann's. It's this one here. Um, I got this uh, four millimeter flat back pearl trim. I got that from Amazon. I used some wax linen thread. I got this from Walmart. I think Joann's carries this too. Um, I love this pink seam binding by Scrap um, Cabin Shop on Etsy. I got this from my sweet friend, Lady Cree. Thank you so much, my sweet friend. And also from Lady Cree, I use this Distress Oxide Kish Flamingo to stamp out my love letters. And I used uh, from, I think this is Dollar Tree, these uh, little stickers, heart stickers. And I also use this trim that I got from Michaels many years ago. I, I don't think they have it anymore, but I still have a, some rolls of these. Okay, isn't this super cute? So I did do a red one. I don't know if you remember that a couple weeks back. Um, but I love this. Um, the images I used and ephemera is from Can Company. They're no longer in business, but you may be able to find some on eBay maybe, or possibly Etsy. But here's the front and I'll show you the back. And it does have a um, flag that goes up. It's held by a brad. But isn't that sweet? So I'll start at the top here. Now, when you assemble the mailbox, and I do have um, a tutorial on how to assemble the mailbox, um, it doesn't come with this top here. And what I did was I used my A2 uh, fancy frame dies and fancy frame layer dies. And as you can see, it's this top here. I just ch chopped up a little bit at the bottom and I'll show you in the back. See, you're just chopping up a little bit on the bottom and it's glued um, on the inside of the back flap and on the inside of the flap here. And I'm gonna open this up. So this part is glued on the back of the flap here. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So anyway, at the top here, as I did my previous one, I created my love banner and I used that um, uh, Distress Oxide Kish Flamingo to stamp my letters out. And it stamped up pretty well, I was surprised. And I just have some tool in the background and this is my wax linen thread. Um, and this is a little, uh, I think this is a Tim Holtz 
charm that I got from Lady Cree many years ago and I just painted that white. And these are the little envelopes from the Ginger Boy and Girl Dye and I added some little hearts. And in my um, tutorial, I show you how to glue that on. I just put a little hinge on the back. I'm not sure if you can see that. So I glued it to the back of the envelopes and to the, um, the lid here. And also another tip, uh, if you guys do purchase this die, double layer this um, lock mechanism to give it extra strength. Isn't that super cute? And I do have a little charm here. These charms are, are from Lady Cree Shop. And this little clasp I got from Lisa Happy Crafter Shop. Not sure if she still has this. But I love this charm. Uh, this little a sticker, that's from Hobby Lobby. And I think this little gem is um, from Michael's many years ago. And so I have my little eyelet doily die in the back, and I tore some papers. I used my um, A2 uh, fancy frame dies for a layer. And then I have my ephemera from Cane Company. And um, a little hard cluster with appliques and flowers that I just sewed. And some uh, pearls, heart pearls that I got from Etsy. And this is the seam binding that I got from Lady Cree here. And this is the lace from Red Collections. And then this is my favorite lace from Joann's and the flat back pearls. And so again, I'll show you the back. And this is the EXO um, Alpha Letter Heart Alphas from My Creative Time. Isn't that cute? I love how that turned out. And next I wanted to share with you some super cute um, sequins bottles that I altered. I ordered this from Lady Cree's shop who is MissFunCreations.com. And um, all I did was I painted the lid. Here's one I haven't finished yet. And then I added, um, you know, my favorite trim from Joann's. This goes all the way around, all the way around the bottle. And then I added my, um, my favorite three millimeter flat back pearl trim from, um, from Amazon. And that goes right over my lace like that and then I also used on the top this is another one of my favorite trims that I get from Joann's and I buy it in like yards of these at a time and I just cut out this little flower and I glue it to the top like this I don't know if you can see that and then I add a, a ribbon rose at the top I cut off the leaves because I didn't like the grain and on this one, of course, I'm going to do it in pink because it's pink. But isn't that cute? I love how those turned out. And next, I wanted to share with you some heart spoons that I got from Recollections from Michaels. And um, I just added some charms to them. And what I did was on the ends of the um, spoons, it wasn't a hole, so I used my 1 16th inch hole punch um, to punch a little hole. Of course, I I cracked maybe like four of them. <laughs> and uh, But I bought like three packages, so I was able to uh, save a lot of them. Um, so anyway, I used that. And also to make my charms, I don't know if you guys have um, seen this tool before. It's, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's a, a um, a loop maker it's a 1.5 millimeter loop you can get this on Amazon and it's a little pricey but let me tell you guys it's it makes your life easy so I use those to make my beads um, and then also I use some charms I got from Lady Cree shop who is MissFunCreations.com and also I have one charm that I got from um, Lisa happy crafter shop and I'll show you that one first so this is the pink one and I use this chain. This chain I got from Daiso. Um, I think it only came with one, so I didn't get a good price on it, but I didn't care because <laughs> I like the pink. Um, anyway, so here's that um, heart charm. And these little charms, I believe are from Michael's. There's a little um, a gem here one, gemstone with a little heart. They, they were sold as a set on a chain. That's that one. And then here's the other pink one. 
Um, this heart charm is from Lady Crease Shop, as well as this pink bead. And this little uh, lobster clasp is from Lisa Happy Crafter's Shop. And here are my red ones. These are actually like a light red, close to an orange tint spoon, but I'm calling it red. <laughs> And um, and again, this is a heart charm from Miss Fun Creations shop, as well as this red bead. And again, that uh, lobster clasp is from Lisa Happy Crafter shop. And here's my last one. I love this one. It's got the lips, also from MissFunCreations.com shop. Love these. Aren't they super cute? I love how they turned out. And next, I wanted to share with you some uh, little containers that I got from Michael's and also from the Dollar Tree. Um, the hearts are filled with candies and the other two uh, candy things here are filled with sequins. And let me share with you the sequins that I got from Michael's. Um, it's these here. Aren't they super cute? Now, by the time I went to Michael's, they were all sold out, but I was able to order them online. So I got those two. Um, I think this also came from Michael's. Yeah, yeah, this one is, yeah, Recollections. It's little heart ones. Um, this one is also from Recollections. I think I got this last year, maybe. Um, I also use this uh, Hobby Lobby one, is this one sixteen? yeah, one sixteenth inch red ribbon. Uh, this is the ink I use, Memento uh, Ladybug Color, to stamp out my sentiments. Um, I also used My Creative Time. Um, this is called Sending Love. I used XOXO, and I cut off the apostrophe S because I wanted it to fit in my heart. And then I used my Hello, My Love, but I cut off the word love so I can use that separately. Um, and then I also used the uh, rosette dies. I used the hearts. And what else did I use? Oh, these are some other sequins I used in my sequin mix. This is from Joanne's. I used some um, Offre red um, satin bows with pearls. And this here, I don't know if you guys uh, use, but this is one of my tips that I use. If you're trying to thread a really tiny hole, use these little, these floss threaders. And these are actually for, um, for bridges, if any of you have bridges. Um, and I got like a bunch of these for free at my dentist, but you can also order these for cheap online on Amazon. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's a it's a threader. Makes your life easy. And I think that's it. Okay. Okay, so um, this one, now these hearts, they already come with the, um, the red and white Baker's Twine, and I just added the, um, the bows at the top on this one and I cut this out using the uh, rosette heart the larger one and that's where I stamped out love on that and I tied it with that a uh, 1 16th inch ribbon and this is the one I stamped before I cut off the apostrophe s on there and I added a little bow here and this is a smaller heart of the uh, rosette dies and this is a negative um, heart from the smallest of the eyelet doily dies. There's that one. And then this is when I cut off the apostrophe S so I could uh, fit XOXO in the heart. Isn't that cute? And then these are my, um, my sequin shakers. And I did tape these up because I didn't want it to be a big mess in case it opened up. And then I added some, um, some bows and some, um, Satin roses, these are Offre. You can get it at Michael's or Joanne's. And here's the red one. It's cuter in the pink because you can see the sequins and this, you can't really tell what colors these are. But aren't they cute? So these are all my Valentine's projects. Uh, don't forget there's a sale going on with My Creative Time. Um, it ends on Sunday at midnight. You can use any of our design team members' codes for 15% off. Um, after the sale, you can still use our code to get 10% off any other time after the sale. And uh, for, for my code, it's Christine, but you can also use Jill, Mo, Melissa, Suzanne, 
Emma, Mom, and any of the, the design team blog members. Um, and I think that's it. If you guys have any questions, um, I'm going to leave the links down below to Jill, um, Mo Creations, UCY Mediva, Girlia's Cards. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. And I thank you all so much for watching. Bye for now.